Good morning, everyone. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be using up some of my leftover paint from my previous Dutch pour. Um, I mixed up some extra red. This is Pyrol Red. Um, I wanted to do a split color with white and red on my canvas instead of the um, black and white that I did last time. So I have my red, my white, and then I have my um, few other colors that I had mixed up of my coppers and orange. So everything is mixed with Floetrol and water. And then I also have my handy little um, hair dryer here. This has become my favorite for Dutch pours. And then I also have my sponge brushes that I use just to smooth out my white and red paints. I'm going to start out with my white and my red and then we'll put down some of those other colors and I'm really interested to see I think the black and some of those other colors are going to look really nice against the red background and then smooth this out um, in my previous Dutch pour I think I left too much paint on the canvas um, I have a few areas where some of my really nice cells aren't um, staying formed, they're kind of breaking up a little bit. So I'm going to try and not leave as much paint on this canvas um, to hopefully make it so that my paint doesn't crack the way my other one is. It's still drying nicely, but I can just tell that it's not drying as well as it could be. It could also be because I'm in my basement and it's very damp down here. So I'm going to start running a dehumidifier and see if that helps with um, my paint drying a little bit better. But wow, this red is super bright. I really like the way that this is. Um, it's been a while, but I've done some pieces with um, this red along with black and gold. And those colors just all pop together against this red. Just make sure I get my sides covered. That's going to be a very nice red. I might have to go over this corner a little bit more. I can see my canvas showing through. I can always touch that up a little bit once my um, paint is dry. So I'm gonna run a lot of this black down. I think the black is gonna contrast nicely against that red along with these other um, metallics in here to give it a nice pop of color. And then some of this orange. And then this is copper. Gonna put a little bit more black on top. I have plenty of paint. So that looks pretty good. I'm getting a lot of really nice cells through here. Um, I'm getting some nice cells in that red. Some of those metallics are creating the cells. Um, so hopefully this one dries well. I think this one will look really nice. Um, and I, I'll definitely do some more um, paintings with this red color. It's I normally, again, red is not one color that I use in my day-to-day -day life. I don't wear red. <laughs> that much um, but in some of these paintings it looks absolutely beautiful so once this is all dry I'll get some nice pictures of it but I hope you guys like this video especially just seeing that you can use up some of your leftover paints in um, other paintings that you're doing um, so just let me know what you think down in the comments below I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button I do put out three videos a week and I will see you all in the next one thank you so much for watching today